Exceedingly abundantly, above all we can ask or think, we serve a God that is able to give us double for every trouble. It's your season to dance. You don't know how oh, oh, oh. Jehovah is the master And we got the master plan oh, oh yes The way out of your depression oh, Come check the answer man. Hey daddy Thank you Double for your trouble Double low, double low Everything's gonna be alright Victory Place International, our Bible study moment. Here at VPI, we honor God, we celebrate people, amen, we change lives and we aspire to impact the world. Welcome, wherever you're joining us from, we are so happy that you took the time to be with us this evening, amen. We give God praise and thanks for his goodness and for his mercies towards amen. us, the children of men. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we are just, I mean, we are overwhelmed that you are here. As per usual, amen. Please, would you be so kind 
Start your little watch party. Amen. Bless the Lord. Uh, send a tag somebody. Share with somebody. Let's see who else can join us this evening as we discuss. Amen. Important matters that pertain to spiritual development. Amen. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. Let's see who we got here with us tonight. Amen. Darlene, good night. Nikisha, good night to you. Joanna, good night to you. Angela, good night to you. Angela Vidalis, good night to you. Laura, good night to you. Amen. Welcome, 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 welcome. Esther, good night. Donna, good night. How are you doing? Bless you. Welcome. Cheryl, good night to you. Yvette, good night. Good night. <laughs> Marlene, good night. Um, Melissa Reed, good night. Kathleen Gibson, what's up with you? Amen. God bless you. Vanetta, good night. Good night. Welcome, everybody. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. All right. This song is special. There's a special dedication. Special dedication. Alice, Joy, Samuel, Lady Lewis, good night. Special dedication to all of you. Yes, yes. It's not a radio station, but you can get a dedication. Marissa, good night. Yes, 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 yes. He's gonna back you. God bless a man. That man must stand. He must stand AI. Who oh, God bless, none can curse. His divine favor, man can reverse. Can reverse. Even if they do their worst, their worst day. Hey. Nothing must stop you. Yes, when God bless a man. Yes, that's right, Joy. That's right. Satan may attack you. Yes, when God bless a man. He's gonna attack you. Yes, when God bless a man. That man must stand. He must stand, I say. If you answer his call. Richard, good night to you. Satan mm -hmm. attack you, Bridget. He's gonna back you. Yeah. Ah. God bless a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man must stand. He must stand, I say. Sister Paula, you're rich. Man must stand, he must stand, hey. 
That's what it is. That's what it is. Naila, good night to you. Bless you and welcome. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, let's welcome everybody. Vicky, good night to you. Amen. Let's go have a prayer before we go any further tonight. Let me ask Pastor Jenny to pray for us. Amen. And I want you to remember Donna, very special. Tonight, we want to pray for Donna. Donna is going to be starting a business over the weekend, and we're praying that God will bless her business effort in Jesus' name. Lee James, good night to you. God bless you. Go ahead, Pastor Jenny. Amen. Oh, Father, tonight we give you praise and thanks. Yes. What a blessing it is to be found in your presence. Amen. 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 We're Amen. so grateful to you, Amen. Father, for your Amen. love and your Amen. mercies, your Amen. kindness towards Amen. us. We just love and appreciate you, Father, Amen. because you have been so good to us. Amen. You have Amen. kept us by your mighty power and by yes. your mighty hand. Yes, and yes, And we are so grateful tonight. Yes, Father, yes. we lift our sister before your throne of grace. Amen. And she steps out by faith to do this new business. Amen. We pray that the mighty hand of God will rest upon her. We pray for your divine favor, God. Yes, yes. You'll give her favor, uncommon or unusual yes, favor. Yes, yes. We pray for multiplied blessings pouring out upon amen, her life. Amen. We pray that customers will come from the east, the west, the north, and the south. Yes. And that her business will just explode in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, it will take off in a miraculous yes, and supernatural yes, way. Yes, yes, yes. And she yes. would know that God is with her in this business. Amen. But Father, we know that without faith it is impossible to please you. But yes. Come by faith. We know that you are the God who works with faith. Yes. So, Father, we thank you for our sister today and we declare blessings and more blessings being poured out upon her life. Yes. In Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Father, as we enter into your word, the study of your word, Amen. may you give us illumination yes. by your spirit, revelation by your spirit. Yes. And Father, speak to all of our hearts tonight. May you be lifted up and encouraged. Amen. In Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Before we call on, on uh, Jade to read for us, one of the things that the Lord put in my heart to share with you this evening is the importance of us reaching out internationally. You know, um, as we continue to see uh, the and deal with the effects of the global pandemic mm -hmm. and uh, what has happened with traditional church and traditional churching as we know it, Amen. The Lord just put that in my spirit today. So I want to I want to solicit your support. I know that many of you would have friends internationally. And I mean like people in England and Europe and Africa. You may have those kinds of connections. And other persons in the US and, and otherwise South America, wherever. I'm asking you to share the life with somebody different. Somebody you know, outside of your immediate environment, somebody that you connect with in Jesus' name. The Lord put that in my spirit this evening. So I want to solicit your support. Amen. That we, we touch somebody, we encourage somebody outside of our normal circle Amen. in Amen. Jesus' name. Would you do that? Amen. I mean, even you can't think about the person right now, but going forward after we done tonight, maybe you can tag them. Maybe you can... Um, share the life with them even right now as we speak and in Jesus name bless the Lord so that somebody on another continent can be ministered unto in Jesus name amen bless the Lord Zyla good night Patsy good night Jade is going to read for us now as we go into our study read Jade Luke chapter 2 18 to 1 yes and he spoke he speaks. And he, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he spake a parable unto them yes. to this end. Yes. That men ought always to pray and not to fail. Amen. Amen. It's interesting. I'm now thinking that spark and speak <laughs> actually spelled the same way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's interesting. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, so <laughs> I just get distracted every day. Amen. <laughs> Shelly Ann, good night. Um, gift a good night. This is talking about Jesus. And Jesus speak a um or spark is or is, yes, speak a, a, a parable unto them. <laughs> unto them to, 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 this, to this end. 
that men are always focus, to pray focus, and not faint in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. So he spoke a parable and the, the, the intention behind the parable, the lesson in the parable was that men should always pray and not faint. So the parable sparks. Yeah, yeah, the parable sparks something. <laughs> you all just stop. <laughs> Amen. Now, um, tonight, G Jesus issues, or uses, I should say, an extensive parabolic discourse to teach us all that we should pray constantly. Right? The phrase, not faint, means... Um, to be utterly spiritless, to be wearied out, to be exhausted. So he's saying that he, he, he teaches a parable, he uses a parable to explain to his listeners that you must pray always and don't ever become utterly spiritless. Don't ever become uh, um, wearied out. Don't ever become exhausted now we all have heard countless messages about prayer uh, i myself have ventured quite a few on this particular platform but we must be wary that we never sacrifice listen to this we must be wary that we never sacrifice new insights on an old message at the altar of familiarity i'm gonna say that again we must be wary or we must be careful that we do not sacrifice new insights on an old message at the altar of familiarity. I would like to draw your attention and even draw on your maturity tonight as we do a profile on prayer, which is really an old message. But there, there are just a few things that, that just came to mind as I was perusing and studying this evening that I think that we can have a conversation about. I want us to look at these points and um, and, and, and I believe it's going to benefit all of us. Uh, Ronica, good night. God bless you and welcome. I think, and they're simplistic, you know, Pastor Jenny, but I think they're profound. And the first thing that I want to bring to your attention is, is, is really what is prayer? You understand? Jesus teaches a parable and the lesson in the parable is that men ought always to pray another. What, what is prayer? And a simple definition for prayer is prayer is communication. Yes, Amen. And of course, in this instance, in this context, communication with God. That is what prayer is. Prayer is communication. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. All right. So if we are to agree that prayer is communication, then what I would like us to do now is to look at some aspects of communication. Look at some, um, some, some, some critical components of communication. So if you are agreeing with me tonight, Donnelly, good night, that prayer is communication and in context, communication with God, let us look at some things, some of the, some of the, um, the, the, the supporting, the signposts, some of the pillars of communication. Amen. My word's not coming too good tonight, but we're going to get you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Now, communication um, is needed, the first one I want to say, for consolidation. Amen. Amen. Consolidation. And of course, consolidation means when we say when we say to consolidate what 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 we what we mean to 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 solidify right to develop to bind you understand um so we are we are presuming we are presuming that communication arises out of relationship amen obviously, obviously right it arises so i didn't go into relationship because that's a given Right, Jesus is talking to disciples who has a relationship with him, and he's telling them that you always ought to pray and don't ever get spiritless. So we understand 
that you cannot really have any ongoing communication with anybody that you have no relationship with. That's right. Amen, 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 that's amen. Right. So that's a given. Okay. So in your communication now, consolidation is one of the things that is important in communication. Consolidation mean, mean to solidify, to connect, to develop. Mm -hmm. You understand? So to develop the relationship, to consolidate the relationship, meaning to solidify the relationship, to keep, to stay in connection. You understand? You need prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If we agree that prayer is communication, then consolidation is an important component of prayer. Right. You understand? Amen. Because in order for communication to really get its life and to be meaningful, there got to be a connection. That connection has to be there. Okay. Amen. You've got to, there's got to be an ongoing connection. You have to solidify the relationship. You have to develop the communication. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Now, now, the thing about it, the other thing is, if if we say, and we are agreeing, that prayer, because remember the question is, what is prayer? And the simple answer is, prayer is communication. It is communication with God. So, in communication, you need consolidation. Amen. You also need, in communication, what is also needed is um, a, a clarity. You communicate for clarity. Yes. Amen. The things that you may not understand in the relationship, things, things that you're trying to, you know, you're trying to crystallize. So the communication helps you to get clarity. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Gloria, good night. So my brothers and sisters, really and truly, another component of prayer is so that you could get clarity on matters in Jesus' okay. name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You need to, and, and all of us need some clarity. Right now, there are many of you who need some clarity. You understand? This is why prayer is important, communicating with God. Now, the thing about it is that all of us can agree that prayer is under intense attack. Prayer is attacked every day. It is attacked everywhere and all of that because of the importance of this. Because the devil knows that if you you are not praying and you are unclear about matters pertaining to your life that and and only God can give you the clarity, he tries to keep you away from the prayer, use whatever he can so that you will stay in that place where you're unclear about stuff. And when you are unclear, obviously you make mistakes, you waste time, you waste resource and all those kinds of things. Okay. So my brothers and sisters, it is our, in our best interest that we continue to pray because during that prayer exercise, you get clarity on stuff. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, so, so far, we are learning that prayer or communication with God is important for consolidation Amen. it is also for um for what i i, I just clarity. said for clarity 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 that is the third one that is the, well really this is the second one what we have said is that prayer is communication or you, and you can put in brackets communication with god mm -hmm. when we say we are praying we are talking about communing with god Okay, and in our communing, amen, bless God, consolidation is an important component in our communing. Okay. Clarity is an important, is another benefit of prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. We also um, enter into communication or prayer for counsel. That's right. Counsel. Amen. Bless God, because sometimes you don't understand some things. You have some decisions to make. Amen. You are faced with some complex situation and you need divine insight. You need God to explain to you what to do about those things. Amen. 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 And, 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 and Solomon said, in all our ways, we should acknowledge him and he will direct our path. In yes, Jesus' amen. name. Okay. Bless the Lord. Virginia, good night. Amen. Bless the Lord. So you need prayer. Amen. amen. We need prayer for counsel. Amen. Because we don't know everything. And that is why 
Amen. You see, especially when you're in a confusing place, man, that devil will fight you tooth and nail. Come between you and God so that you can't pray. Amen. Because at the time when you need counsel the most, because he, Satan, wants you to make a bad choice because he knows that bad choices produce bad consequences. Yes. So there are times that he may not be able to attack you directly. But if he can guide, if he can coerce, if he can set it up so that you make a bad choice, he knows the fallout of that bad choice is bad is or are bad circumstances or bad they are just they're, they're, they're just some um bad issues that will come from a bad choice That's right. so he he will settle he will settle for you doing it to yourself thank you jesus amen 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 amen, amen, amen. so my brothers and sisters you have to understand how important we, we now have a better appreciation when jesus tells these people you must pray always mm -hmm. You understand? Because Jesus understands that along the continuum of life, you are going to face some situations where you will need some counsel at some point. That's right. You don't know everything. There are decisions that you can make on your own. But every now and again, you will face something that requires divine inspiration. That's right. Thank you, Lord. That's right. So, first thing that we said, when we talk about prayer or communication, Communication is needed for consolidation, That's right. to reinforce, to strengthen, to connect. Mm. Communication is also needed for clarity. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. Communication mm. is also needed for comfort. That's right. Comfort. Yeah, you understand? Because sometimes you're going through something and you really need some comforting words. That's Amen. Right. You need somebody that could console you, that can 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 kind of take you in their arms and all of that kind of stuff. That is a part of the human reality. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to you that as a child of God, there is tremendous comfort that comes from our Lord and Savior by just talking to Him. Amen. By, by just prayer. You mm -hmm. come away from a prayer situation, feel encouraged and feel energized and feel, you know, give, you, you have new strength to face whatever you have to continue to face That's in Jesus' right. name. Amen, amen, amen. So comfort is important, my brothers and amen. sisters. Amen. amen. If you, have, you are dealing with some kind of painful situation, you're dealing with some kind of depressing situation, you're dealing, amen, amen, with something that has affected you negatively, there are times you just need some comfort. And I'm saying to you, in prayer, we are able to find comfort. Pastor Kerry, good night to you, sir. God bless you and thank you for joining us. So, let's go back. Prayer is communication mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. That is what prayer is. That's and right. we are saying in communication, consolidation is necessary. Amen. That's one of the benefits of communication. And you understand what I'm saying? Clarity is another benefit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Counsel. Amen. Bless Amen. God. Insight. Um, what's the other one? Uh, comfort. Amen. And here's the next thing. Here's the next thing that, 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 is, that is important. In, in your communication, you are able to deal with your concerns. That's Thank right. you, Lord. Concerns. Amen. So whatever is your concern, whatever is your heart's desire, whatever is pressing, whatever is... Amen. You need, a, you need attention. You can deal with all of this. In the communication, as you commune with God, you can bring your concerns because this is a critical component of communication. Amen. 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 Communication is supposed to be a platform where you could discuss your concerns. Amen. Okay. Amen. Where you could bring your concerns, whether it's man and woman or father and daughter, father and son, family, whatever. Communication demands that there is a platform where you can raise your concerns and get them resolved in Jesus' name. Amen. In this case, we are dealing with the supreme God of the universe who is a master with every kind of human concern. You understand what I'm saying? So anytime you see your prayer life is under attack, it is because the enemy knows that these things that we've just discussed so far are so important to your existence and without them, you are going to be in, a, in dire straits. So he attacks those things by just attacking your prayer life alone. 
The devil is able to short circuit consolidation, clarity, counsel, comfort, even your concerns. Thank you, Jesus. You, you see what I'm just saying? There are, there are five critical components. Things that are important to your living and life right now as we speak. Trisha, good night. Mm -hmm. By attacking your prayer life, by keeping you from communing with God, the devil is able to assassinate sometimes, to compromise, to hinder your consolidation, hinder your clarity, hinder counsel, hinder comfort, even hinder your concerns. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? This is why Jesus is telling them, you must pray always. Amen. And he didn't, he's not saying that prayer would not have challenges, but he's saying you have to aspire to pray always and don't ever faint. Don't get spiritless. Don't get exhausted. Because the minute you do, it is in your own, it, it indicates or it represents your own defeat and demise. I mean, he didn't say all of that. But when we understand these things are intrinsic in the communication, we know that if you are not praying, all of this is damaged. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And there is more. There are a couple more, you know. So, so far, in communication, communication with God, amen, produces consolidation. And consolidation, we say, means to connect, to solidify, to develop. The relationship to bind it together mm -hmm. that prayer or communication produces also clarity that's number two that it also produces counsel number three mm -hmm. it also produces comfort which is very important in these mm -hmm. days that we live number four it also um, uh, con con uh, contributes to our concerns you understand? It is a platform where you can discuss your concerns. Amen. Mm -hmm. Claire, good night. God bless you. Here's another one. Um, that in our communication, a next thing that is important is commendation. Okay. Commendation. Where you can you can express gratitude and you can and, and express praise in the communication for something that has already been done mm -hmm. or something that is being done. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So in the communication now, because it is a communication, there must be a place where you commend. In communication, you have to have at some point where you say, listen, you did that well and all of that. It's, it cannot be. It cannot be that there is no time when you will be grateful for something that is done. Yes. In communication. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. If you're in any relationship and you've never been able to say anything good about the person or persons you're relating with, there is a tremendous deficiency in that relationship. That's right. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'm going to say that again. No relationship is healthy except there is commendation from time to time. Right. Amen. And people talk, a man and woman talk about that. Amen. Bless God. It is a deficient area that sometimes in some relationships, the husband don't say nothing. He don't give no, 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 no kind of good commentary. Don't, you know, he don't, he don't say nothing good about how the wife looks, how the wife cooks or whatever and vice versa. And that is an area of deficiency. It makes, makes relating unhealthy because we are human beings. You understand? We are human beings and we have a social, a social dimension to us. And because of that social dimension, a thing like commendation is critical for the health of that social dimension. Ah, oh, Jesus, help me tonight. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. I hope you all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling hot in here. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. So, we said so far that prayer or communication, mm. amen, bless the Lord, provides consolidation. Mm -hmm. Number one, provides clarity. Mm -hmm. Number three, that number two is clarity. Number three, counsel. Mm -hmm. Number four, comfort. Mm -hmm. Number five, concerns. Mm -hmm. You can present your concerns. Number six, con commendation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here's the next one. Number seven, commentary. That's commentary. In your communication, there must be a forum where people can freely voice 
and give their opinion on what is taking place. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And so God from time to time in the relationship, in your prayer, will comment on what is taking place in your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God will show you stuff and give, give a commentary and tell you, all right, you need to fix that, you need to fix it, this going to do that. Will. And that is very healthy. Amen. You need somebody. You and I, we need somebody to comment on our lives without being critical. Thank you, Jesus. Commentary is important. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God does that. He tells you, amen, reinforces those areas that you are strong in. And he, and he tells you as it is and, and guides you and corrects you and all of that. Commentary, my brothers and sisters, is a very healthy component in the communication regime. Bless the name of the Lord. And all the things that I have discussed so far are things that will be deficient when we do not pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. And there is more. There is more. Amen. I am at number seven. Commentary. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah. And let me also tell you this. God's commentary on your life and mine is the most honest commentary you will get. It is the most honest and the most precise and concise commentary. Because God has complete knowledge about you and about me. Amen. Bless the Lord. People who make commentary sometimes are deficient because they lack pertinent information. They may see you do something, behave a certain way, and they may come to a conclusion and their commentary may be very negative because they are insensitive to what may be behind the action. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, I'm teaching good now, but it's hard, but I'm teaching good. The, 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 but you see, God knows everything, so God is always in a better position to make the best assessment. God is always in a position to make the best kind of assessment and say the best words. That's you understand? And you don't, have to be, you don't have to worry about whether God puts water in his mouth or whether God is, is honest or not. You don't have to worry about that. You know that you're going to get the truth from God. God will tell you exactly who you are. And that is why sometimes at our lowest point, at some of our worst times, God will tell us some things that other people wouldn't tell us. Amen, 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 amen. I, I can't get no help here, boy. You're making me work for my money tonight, boy. God will tell you things that other people won't tell you. At your lowest point, even when you have made a terrible mistake, God will tell you. Do you know the Bible says that the grace of God leadeth men to repentance? The grace of God, or rather the goodness of God, I'm sorry, the goodness of God. In other words, what, what that is saying is that God will treat you so good even if you're off, even if you're a sinner, even if you're bad, God will treat you so good that that treatment will draw you to, con to be converted in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. All right, all right, all right. So, commentary, number seven. Number eight, watch this now. Here's another thing that comes in communication. Amen. Composure. Composure. How you compose yourself. In the communication, because because you are able to freely communicate and all of that, you have a sense of being. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You're not afraid to say what you have to say. You can be you. <laughs> amen. 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 Uh, amen. You 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 can and and it helps you and it it gives you poise. Thank you, Jesus. That that forum. That communication forum give you poise for other forums. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know it is said that in the place of familiar, familiarity, your home, your family, that place where is the place that you're supposed to get all your reinforcement. You understand? And when you are reinforced there, what people see outside really don't matter. Thank That's you, right. Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. So what I'm trying to tell you is what 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 you the composure that you develop in the presence of God, mm -hmm. you and your God in your relationship, the composure that you get from that prepares you to deal with the evils and devils outside of that environment. That's fine. So so your prayer closet or wherever your prayer place is, when you have dealt with that and you've prayed and you've talked with God and you continue to talk to God, then you go out and face whatever else with a different kind of composure. That's right. You understand? Right. You go forth as a person with tremendous confidence. That's right. Because you know that you are in communication with the supreme God of the universe. Amen. 
thank you jesus the supreme god of the universe that has already given you some insights has yeah. already helped you to clarify some things that has given you counsel that has been there for you as a friend that stick it closer than a brother helping you to deal with life's reality i'm saying to you that you are invincible when you are praying Amen. thank you lord i'm gonna say it again mm -hmm. you are invincible when you are a praying person you are invincible you are invincible. The devil cannot destroy you. People cannot. They, they will try, but they won't succeed. You understand? Because in the presence of God, you get all the reinforcement. You get to remember that they can't, they can't deal with you. Because God will tell you all these things. Amen. You understand? In the prayer situation, you will be re-energized. Amen. Amen. You will be re-energized. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I speak from experience. Sometimes you're depressed, you're frustrated, and you don't even want to pray. You do not want to pray. And then you just push through, you just decide, I'm going to pray. You don't even know what you're going to tell God. You just find yourself, you just assume the position. <laughs> Amen? You assume the position. And you would be amazed how God honors the effort that you make. He honors that right. effort. Dinel, good night, good evening, whatever time it is where you are. <laughs> God honors that effort and you get up from that place or you move from that place with a kind of miraculous strength. Thank you, Jesus. Shola, good night. God bless you. You just leave from the, with a kind of strength that you, that you don't get from anywhere else. Amen. Herman, good night Amen. to you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. All this is in communication we're still yes, under the first point you know what is prayer <laughs> what is prayer prayer is communication Amen. and in communication all these things we have discussed mm -hmm. composure here is next one in communication you also get confirmation That's right. confirmation confirmation mm -hmm. bless the lord when you're talking with god there are some things that god confirm in your heart That's fine. god confirm it and so you know whether people agree with it or not you're going forward Amen. because it has been confirmed hallelujah rose good night mandy good night to you confirm it's confirmed mm -hmm. And you gotta understand that sometimes you sometimes you have a you have a thought you want to do something but you need some confirmation and you can't really unfortunately you cannot depend on people too much because yeah. there are some people they have different agenda. That's right. That's right. And, and, and they will hold back the confirmation. <laughs> people not easy enough. Tell you the truth, yeah. the best person to get confirmation from is God. No. I must say for balance that God can use people. His confirmation to you can come through people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know when the confirmation comes. You will yes. know it. Yes. You will know it. Thank you, Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. And it's important. That is a critical component mm -hmm. of relationship, yes, right. of communication, confirmation. A platform where things can be confirmed because there are times we are unsure about stuff. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And this is the last one. <laughs> the last one. In communication. The next one is continuity. Boy. Mm. Continuity. You need communication for continuity. That's right. Amen. Bless God. You can't. No relationship goes anywhere. If you're treated with scant courtesy. Yes. No relationship goes anywhere if you're treated and you just have visitor status. Mm -hmm. No relationship goes anywhere if you only just talk to people when you want something. Mm -hmm. I can't get no help you now. I can't get no help. Right. And that is a lot of times that's how some people treat God. Yeah. The only time God sees them is when they want something, when they're under pressure. <laughs> I ain't getting no help, but I ain't getting no help. I ain't calling nobody name. I'm just saying that a lot of people we know, I'm not talking about you here, it's people we know I'm talking about. When they're in the throes of a dilemma, when the money finish, when the husband gone, when the children didn't do good, and when the bills pile up, amen, when they're flying high, God can't see them. I mean, they're passing God whoosh like a full bus. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. But the thing about God, the thing about God, God is not like us. God has tremendous patience and God is very mature. That's right. 
Right. That you could do God all that and God still will listen to you when you're coming up. Amen. In fact, in fact, I have a sneaky suspicion, Pastor Jenny, that God does sit by and make sure certain things happen because you know that's the only way you will see you. That's right. <laughs> God knows the only way I will get you to come and say a little hallelujah and come and cry in. It's not coming on your faces if you're under pressure. So God said, all right, I ain't see you for so long. Months I ain't see you. So let me allow a little pressure to come so you will come and pray. At least, at least, at least. Yeah. And I always want to help you. Yeah. Let me tell you this. God will set up, right? God will set up some situation so that you could come to him for your own good. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, sometimes we, I mean, we're busy doing everything else. Mm. Amen. We're doing everything else. I don't know what it is. But human beings, we are strange creatures, you know. <laughs> when we don't have nothing, we are the most committed. You understand? We're always harassing God. Always bombarding the throne, as it were. Holding on to the horns of the altar. As soon as you get the thing. As soon as God give you the house, God give you the marriage, God give you the man, give you the woman, the car, whatever. I don't understand what is wrong with us. We are like crazy people. <laughs> and you almost see God sitting down on his throne saying, you know, I should have never given that. <laughs> you I mean, God is God. I'm just saying. And here's the next thing though. Sometimes we see God tarrying about stuff for people, mm -hmm. right? They come to us collectively mm -hmm. because we are oblivious of intricate details about their life. God knows everything. Mm -hmm. God knows that if we give them that house next year, they're going crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. So God delays it a little bit, help them the mother. We, they bring the issue to us now, a group, and we come now, we come and we bombard in the throne mm. on their behalf. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. God may even honor our prayer on their behalf. That's right. You understand? Remember, we are limited in our understanding. But God will honor our prayer because we pray by faith. Yes. And then we see certain things happen. Then we have a better appreciation as to why God may have been delaying so long. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Yes. Amen. That's true. amen. My brothers and sisters, listen. For continuity in any relationship. Yeah? The relationship, the communication have to keep be ongoing. Jesus said, may not always to pray and not fail. That's right. You understand? He said, you must never get spirit. Never, never stop. And I'm telling you, there, there are attacks, there are attacks upon attacks upon attacks for us to stop, boy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when we stop, all these 10 things that I've just discussed here tonight become undermined. Mm -hmm. And these 10 things I've just discussed here are of critical or of paramount importance to your success and mine. Amen. Mm -hmm. We will accomplish precious little in Jesus' name. Precious little if these things that we just discussed here uh, do not form part of our operation. Amen. Florita, good night. Alicia, good night to you. Mary, good night to you. I'm going to say it again. These things that we have just discussed, I'm going to go over them. I'm going to go over them because we're going to stop in a bit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. That if, and we at, we stop in uh, one point we discuss uh, what is prayer? Because people have all kind of fancy thing about prayer. What is prayer? Simply prayer is communing or communicating with God. That is what it is. And in communication, there must be consolidation. Mm. One of the benefits, the spin-off of communication, consolidation, consolidation means connect, solidify, develop, firm up the relationship through prayer. By your praying, you are firming up your relationship with God. You are making a statement. Amen. Bless God that you're not no stranger, no alien from the covenant of promise. The middle wall of petition has been broken down. And you are reinforcing that through your communication. In Jesus' name. And, amen, because of your communication, you get clarity. You become crystal clear on a lot of stuff. A lot of things that people confuse about you are clear on it because of your prayer, your ongoing communication with God. In addition to that, you get counsel. God will tip you off on stuff. Yeah. 
He will tip you off before he tell other people. God will, and sometimes he does that by impression. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm said it before, mm -hmm. but you know, we have discussed on this forum that it was our intention to launch new and uh, launch the I'm sorry, Victory Place International Trinidad on the first Sunday of September, mm -hmm. and we have been preparing and all of that. But there was a check. Ah, there was a check in my spirit. I didn't get all the a check, a check, just something just saying, hold on, hold, mm -hmm. hold up a bit, hold up. Amen. And also, I now remembered, I called a very dear friend of mine, Anamata. I just called him Anamata. And this man started prophesying. At the time when he was prophesying, I really couldn't, I couldn't identify with the prophecy because I, I had no, but you see, a prophecy sometimes is foretelling something. <laughs> For the most part, it is foretelling. No, I see what he was prophesying is indeed fact. You understand? So that is what I'm saying, that God will give you counsel. And it is needed, especially in these days and times that we live, so that you won't make unnecessary mistakes, which are costly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Counsel in the communication. Comfort. If you're heartbroken, you know, somebody messed with you, and whatever, you lost a loved one, you get comfort from prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Um... You get to, to discuss your concerns. That's when we say you come with your needs and ask God for this and that and whatever. Your concerns can be dealt with in the prayer situation. Yes? Amen. That's number five. Commendation. Commendation. And that's how you, you know you, you are able to express gratitude and and, 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 and and lord him up for what he has done. Amen. Amen. That's a healthy part. <laughs> that's a healthy part of the exercise. And in any communication, you can't just be receiving, receiving. You have to be able to tell people when they do something good, man. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Um, the next thing is commentary. Commentary. That is an assessment. Speaking words as, as and seeing the thing as it is and making a healthy deduction of what is taking place. And all of us need some commentary over our lives. Mm. Amen. Bless the Lord. What is that? Commentary is number number six. No, number seven. Number eight. Composure. Mm -hmm. Composure. Compose yourself, man. Mm -hmm. Brave, ready to face the world. You get that strength from being in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Talking with God. God tells you that you are above and not beneath. Mm -hmm. You're blessed going out and blessed coming in. So what people right. say don't don't phase you. God tells you that you are beautiful. You are the apple of my eye. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So people's assessment is second. That is a second thing. That 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 don't take set, should not take center stage if your composure is dealt with in the presence of God. Amen. Confirmation. God confirms stuff. That is number nine, and of course number ten is continuity. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. We have to stop. We have to stop. Amen. Pastor Jenny, you have anything to say? Amen in Jesus' name. You know, I was just thinking, every time when we talk about prayer, mm -hmm. some people always seem to make prayer such a, you know, like it's this holier than thou thing yes. when we talk about prayer. Yes. But prayer really in its simplest form is really talking to God, you know. Yes, it is. Just like you would talk to a friend. It's yes. like going to God and saying, Hey God, you know, so and so is my situation. Of course, of because course. Because I, I think sometimes people become so religious with prayer that they feel that they have to use certain words with God. Uh -huh. and, you know, if they, their vocabulary is not right. So yes. Sometimes you say to people, I, I'm praying about this, and they say, Me pray? I yeah. can't pray like this one. Uh, yes. Because somehow we tend to always compare our prayer life to somebody else's who we have heard. Of course. With certain vocabulary and certain words mm -hmm. we feel. That somehow we are not capable of praying for our own selves, yes. or hearing God mm -hmm. for our own selves. Yes. And that sometimes creates a situation where we tend to always go outside. Yes. You know, when God really wants us to develop our own relationship with Him, our Amen. own ability to hear Him for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if as Pastor talked, all these things in prayer, comfort, counsel, confirmation, these things happen when we talk to God. Yes. And the thing about communication, which he uses, communication really is a two-way street. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we treat it as a one-way street. Yes. We go, we tell God everything, but we don't even spend time to hear what God has to say to us. Right. Because we tell ourselves, you know, 
God don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. another issue there yes. with the prayer thing. Yes. Because some people say, God does talk to you, yes. but how come God don't yes. talk to me? Right, you know? right, right, right. And so communication in its truest form is a two way street. Sure. You talking to God, God talking to you. Yes. You yes. know, you hearing from God for yourself because really prayer is relationship as mm -hmm. Pastor indicated. Yes. And the most important relationship you can have is with Almighty God. Yes. Because He knows everything about you. You know, just as Pastor was saying, um, people can only judge you from the outside because they don't really know you. They, mm -hmm. they see you and they make assessments. Yes. But God knows you. He knows the details of your life. He yes. knows you because, in fact, He's the one that created you. Of course. So when you come to Him about your issues, your concerns, He is not taken aback. Right. You know, He is not in shock. Whereas if you go to tell somebody your issue, they look at you and they say, oh, <laughs> yes, you're yes, going yes. through that. Of you're course. Like, and they change their perspective yeah, about you as well. they can't believe because yes. you look so good. You mm -hmm. look so, you have it together. Yes. But because God knows us, he's not taken aback by our issues and our struggles mm -hmm. and our battles. That's why he says, come, yes. let us reason together. Right, 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 <laughs> you know, right, right, do right. your sins. In other words, do your issues and your struggles be as called. When I finish, talk to you. You'll be white, mm -hmm. pure as gold, mm -hmm. white as wool. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And so I think sometimes people struggle with the issue of prayer because they think of it as such a big thing. And then yes, yes. the other issue when it comes to communicating with God, as important as it is to get into your closet time, mm -hmm. I, I believe that we must make that time for God. Yes. There's also the prayer on the go with God because yes. you have relationship. Yes. Because sometimes we settle for that. What if I can get up at the five o'clock to pray? Yes. I miss it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. I miss God today. Yeah, like God is at five o'clock. Yes. You know, if I get if I if I can get it midnight cry, I yes. miss it. You yes. know, yes. Yes. when yes. God is saying prayer is not about. Though the time is good, because yes. when we read the scripture, we say Jesus always taking time to pray. Mm. But prayer was not just that routine time. We see Jesus even praying on the go. Of course. You of understand? Course. We of see course. Jesus in situations where, remember the five loaves and the, the two fishes. Yes. Before he, he stood to hear what Father said to him, and then he blessed it and break it, and miracle came. Yes. So we saw Jesus always on the go, listening, and he's saying, I wouldn't do anything unless my Father tell me. Right, right, right. So if you miss that 5 o'clock morning prayer time that day, and you have issues coming along <laughs> during your day, yes. you're going to say, well, God can't hear me as I pray on the go. And, and I think yes. God wants to deal with that, that That's right. part of it. That, That's that, right. Religiosity, That's right. but whatever better word yes. that we have made prayer when mm -hmm. really God is saying, Listen, let, me, let us talk. Of course, you can talk to me on the go. Yes, yes, in yes. a traffic jam. Yes, and boy, you feel them, God, you know, this traffic jam. Yes. Talk to me, and because it's friendship, it's mm -hmm. relationship, prayer mm -hmm. is really relationship. When God talks about Abraham was a friend of God, in, in, in actuality, Abraham was a man always talking to God, so they develop a of friendship, course. of course, of you know, course. and then what prayer is a friend being a friend with god and mm. the best friend you can have is god that's right because it's the human beings we're limited in our that's ability true. to love you that, that is the truth. you know we love you if you're good and you're kind and you're nice and you're pretty and say but when your bad attitude starts to come out when they read you that has been hiding in the closet yes. we have a problem we say no 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 i can't yeah. love you the same way because right. i didn't yeah. expect this from you right but god loves the good the bad and everything the ugly in us Amen. because he knows us so much yeah he, he knows us intimately that's right he knows that's us right. that's so right. that when we come to him in prayer which is talking we can bear ourselves in other words we can be naked before god of course. Of Sometimes course. you can't even be naked with your best friend because you truth. figure you, you start to reason in your mind. If I really tell them what yeah, we yeah, 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 then yeah, will yeah, be yeah. judging me. Of but course. with God, of we course. can be naked. Amen. You know, we can open our soul and say, God, this is me. This is what's going on within me. This mm -hmm. is, I need help here, yeah, God. Yes. And because we are honest with God, and that's the thing. We can be totally honest with God in prayer. That's where right. we may not be so totally honest with another human being. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, because we say if I tell them, they're going to be judging me, boy. Yes, their yes. perception of, of me course, will change. Of course, but When of I course. go before God and I'm honest with the Creator, the one who knows me anyway, mm -hmm. He says, yeah, I know you. I know this is your <laughs> issue. I know it's your struggle. But listen, that's why in prayer, yes. Pastor talks about God comforts us. He said, because I know you, I can give you comfort. I yes. understand what you're going through. Yes. I can help you. Yes. That's why the scripture says He's touched with the very feelings of our infirmities. Amen. Because He knows exactly that's who we are and truth. what we go through. Amen. And so prayer and then pastor talks about 
being able now in prayer to release our concerns mm -hmm. and not only that to get confirmation because yes. sometimes in prayer too as we talk to god there are issues that we're dealing with there's sometimes direction a decision that we have to make sure and sometimes we're saying god i don't know left or right even if we see god the counsel sometimes we're still not sure right but in prayer god gives us confirmation that's right that's right. Because we sit and we listen to him talk back to us. And I think sometimes this is where we fall down. This is where we fall short. Mm -hmm. Because we don't wait for God to talk back yeah. to us. And yeah. I want to say to us, God wants to talk back to us. Amen. God wants to tell you, listen, this is the way to go. This is the direction. Mm -hmm. God wants to tell you, listen, I want to help you with that issue. Some of us are struggling with major decisions. Yes, yes, you yes. You understand? Yes, Some of yes. us are struggling with major And God says, I want to give you Amen. the direction. I Amen. want to tell you where to go. Amen. Another human being might give you God becomes, but at the end of the day, God says, I want to confirm to you that you're on the right path, that Amen. this is the decision that I want. Amen. So everything that Pastor is talking about, in that place of prayer is where we meet with the one who loves us so unconditionally. Yes. Who can deal with this stuff that when we come out, just as Pastor said, we are as bold as a lion because we have communicated with our good friend mm -hmm. who is honest to tell us stuff about us. That when yes. we come up now, yes. we're ready, we can face anything because yes. we have communicated with Amen. our friend. Amen. That's why the word says he writes us as bold as a lion. Amen. Because even when we sin and we fall short, he doesn't condemn us. Yes. He say, hey, come on, get up again. Yes. You can go again. Amen. And so in that place of praise, our sanctuary. Yes. In that place of praise, yeah. our help. Yes. In that place of praise, our strength. Amen. In that place of prayer is comfort and counsel mm -hmm. and commendation. Because, yes. you know, God commends you as well. Yes. Even when we are praising and we commending God for what he has done, because in prayer we're thanking God for yes. what he has done for us. Do you know that in prayer and all, God commends us? That's right. God says to us, you have been faithful and little, and I have seen your faithfulness. Yes. Now I am strengthening you to go forth again. In prayer, God commends us yes. as well. Yes. And we yes. are encouraged and lifted up because sometimes we beat ourselves down so much and we believe that, you know, we're not doing a good job of it. Mm -hmm. And then God says to you, Come on, be strong, be yes. encouraged. Yes. You're doing well, be yes. uplifted. Come Amen. on, you're, you're doing good. Continue to run the race, continue Amen. to go. So prayer really is the life breath of the child of God. Amen. It Amen. is our life breath. Amen. Imagine not being able to breathe. It's the same thing with prayer. If Amen. we don't talk to God, we don't have breath to breathe. Amen. And so I want to encourage you today, you know, during this season here, I have people saying, you know, I struggle with prayer life. Why? Because prayer is talking to God. You shouldn't be strong. You should be thanking God for the time to pray because COVID encourages us to spend time in prayer. COVID is pushing us yes. into the presence of God. Amen, amen. And so your prayer life shouldn't be struggled. You are saying, God, I thank you because now I can really push in and yeah. spend time with you. And here, and sometimes, God allowed things because there's so much that God wants to tell us. Eh? Mm -hmm. So much that God wants to say to us. God wants to encourage us. God wants to lift us up. But if we don't position ourselves to talk to him, and that's the other thing about God. He's not forcing you to pray. Mm -hmm. He's not forcing you to come to him. You are the one who has to make time to go to yes. him. Because he's a gentleman of the highest order. Yes. You yes. know, he doesn't barge in on you. Amen. He's Amen. just there waiting. And when you're ready, he's there waiting and saying, okay, I was waiting for you. You know, <laughs> Amen. I was longing for you to come. Amen. Amen. And when Amen. you come, he speaks. And Amen. he, just as Pastor Amen. said, Amen. he speaks to you. Amen. So talk to him. Amen. Because he's waiting to talk to you. Amen. Amen. Profound. Profound, Pastor. Profound. Amen. Let us let us pray. Amen. <laughs> and see what it just as I've discussed, we're going to pray. I want you to see prayer tonight in a different way. Amen. Drop off all that religiosity thing. Yes. You understand? And, and all this thing that people some people just make you feel and the way they just talk, God spoke to me. Amen. You understand? As if they have some esoteric elitism. Yes. Right. God speaks to everybody. He may speak in different ways, yes. but right. he speaks to all of us. And now, after we have discussed this thing, we are going to talk to God now. I will lead off. Yes. You understand? And we are agreeing together. Yes. Father, yes. tonight we thank you. We know that the beautiful thing about this eh, is mm -hmm. you see our thoughts are far off. Yes, God. This that we've discussed tonight, you saw this moment long before it was even manifested. Yes. The people that are here, 
those that have just joined, those that will see this, you know everybody. Yes. You know where everybody is. You know where every struggle is. You know what is needed by everyone that is here. Yes. And so we thank you. I pray yes. that you will now, and when we say minister, we don't yes. use it religiously, yes, God. that you will speak to your people. Yes. Speak speak in whatever mode you choose yes. you know how to get the word to all of us yes. equally yes, speak God. now according whatever is needed whether it be strength whether yes. it be healing whether yes. it be direction whether yes. it be whatever do it now in jesus name yes, for God. your people yes, in God. jesus name and others that will see this in another time yes. do it we pray yes. in jesus name we want to be better people Yes, we really want to be better people. We are in a time and season. We are oblivious of some of the things we have to contend with in the yes. future. But we know that as long as you are there, as long as you Amen. talk with us and you're there, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. So now, Lord, Thank you, Lord, let this word become life to all of us. Yes. And we give you thanks. Thank you. We give you praise for the privilege yes. of being on this platform tonight just yes. to talk about communicating with you. Yes. Yes. And Lord, our areas of deficiency, help yes. us to overcome them. Yes. Those things that try to come between us and you, help us to be sensitive yes. to these things. Yes. Help us to nip them in the bud. Help yes. them. Help us, Father, to avoid them from coming between us. Yes. And we give you thanks. Yes. And we give you praise tonight in advance yes. for what you're going to do. Thank you, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, good people. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight mm -hmm. for the study. We trust that you've been edified, you've been encouraged in some way. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. We gone. We gone. Amen. We gone. We gone. Amen. Amen. Peace. <laughs> we love you big time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, you're going to your Zoom thing. Mm -hmm. You went on there and make sure and stop in time for you. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. Let me see if I can get on. Yeah.